Hey guys, Rivedead here. Welcome back to another vlog. Hopefully I don't get run over by bicyclists. I just had a couple run through, so yeah. Uh, not too sure how this is gonna turn out, but we're, we're working with what we got. Uh, today is the 21st of December, the winter solstice equinox. I don't remember which one it is, but it is the uh, shortest day, longest night of the year. So that is what we got to deal with. And I had a half day today, so I'm up for a walk. Even with that, it's very overcast and cloudy and I have no idea <laughs> how well this is gonna look, but I'm doing my walk, I'm gonna have fun. So I did a recording of a hyperlapse coming here. Fingers crossed that worked. I have a new microphone connected. It is a shotgun mic connected directly to the camera through USB-C. So it has a gain knob on the top. I've been fiddling with it. Indoors, it works great. Outdoors, not so sure, but it's okay. I, uh, I have backup, <laughs> just in case. <clears throat> Good old tried and trusted. But yeah, uh, it has been crazy. Uh, as you can see, winter is back. We uh, officially got dumped on. You may be able to hear the snow crunching under my feet. And that's okay. That's a sound effect I don't mind uh, for recording. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we got over the weekend better part of five to six inches of snow. And it's the wet, sticky kind, so, like, as you can see, all the trees are blanketed. And this is days later. Uh, so, it stuck. A little bit more came down today. They're expecting a mixed bag this weekend, so I have no idea what to expect. I don't plan on doing much. <laughs> I have uh, half day work today, half day work tomorrow. I have Friday and Monday off, four day weekend. Hopefully, I'll be able to do more of this stuff. But I'm uh, preparing for <laughs> getting homebound again. So, um, and since this is this trek, which I've done a dozen times, <laughs> I don't know if I've done it a dozen times. I've done it quite a few times here on the channel. It's my favorite walk. I, I'm not going to change it. Um, I'm out getting bananas. <laughs> I don't need too many. I have a couple, but the ones I had were really green and they took a while to ripen and they're still not quite there. So I'm looking to get a couple of extra bananas that aren't quite so green that are due to be eaten so that I don't have to fret. I did make muffins though in the interim. Those are good. Good for breakfast. Not good for the stomach, but good for breakfast. <laughs> Something to fill the, the gap, so to speak. Um, I have my winter boots on. They seem to be doing okay. Uh, it is around zero today. Forgot my scarf. I'm kicking myself in the face. Well, in the neck, basically, over it. I was packing everything up trying to get out because I knew that light was going to be a problem today. So... And my little scarf thing sits on the rack with my other coat. And I just walked right by it. Didn't even see it. Brain done. I got my gloves though, so I count that as a win. But yeah, don't have much in the way of plans for Christmas. I never really do. Uh, video games, I think. I think that's on the agenda. I um, I just finished High on Life the other day. It was on the Game Pass. Lovely. So much fun. So much fun. I don't think 
I've laughed so hard in the game in years. So it was a nice kickback to a different time in video games where they were meant to entertain, not just be brutal or intense storylines. They were goofy, you know. And comedy in a video game is not always the easiest thing to do. So that they did it so well. I applaud them for sure. Whew. Um, don't have anything else right now on the go. Going to burn through a couple of uh, older titles that I haven't played in a while. Try to uh, finish up some of my uh, backlog of games that I was playing, that I stopped. Uh, the Witcher 3 is one. Uh, it's... I think they say that cross games or cross saves are supposed to work. Um, and I'm on a certain level on the Xbox. I'm going to try to get that transferred over to the PC. I'm going to try that this weekend. Um, so that I can continue it on the PC. If not, I'll just play on the Xbox. Not the end of the world. I, uh, I did order myself a present for Christmas. That should be arriving <laughs> uh, probably the first week of January. And uh, I've been sitting on the fence for this one for a while. But I decided to bite the bullet and buy it. It's the uh, Insta360 X3. So it is a 360 camera. Uh, I had the little tiny one, the Go 2. And my problems with that camera were my uses of it were not working. The color grading was weird. But I wasn't really. How do I put this? I couldn't fiddle with the color grading as much and learn it because of the timeline that I had to return it. And I realized quickly that with my workflow that it wasn't going to work. And also, I thought it had 360 capabilities in my stupidity. I was researching a couple of ones at the same time and in my head, I combined them. So, I own that. But, yeah, the, it is a true 360 camera. I got the invisible selfie stick. That comes with a memory card. They had a deal on their website. I've been wanting to get it. And for like the last two weeks, I've been like, yeah, I think I'll pick it up. And I look on Amazon for it. And it's not available in Canada. And the reseller that sells stuff in Canada for Insta360 won't deliver to like specific areas I guess I have no idea but I couldn't get it and it was considerably more expensive than buying it from Insta360 so I did I ordered that this morning so yeah it was 600 bucks and change so I was like oh but I've been good I've been uh returning things that I don't need and scaling things down and working on a workflow and working on projects in my head so that I can do more in the spring and I want to get the 360 because it's going to be fun taking these walks and having the stick and be able to do full 360 stuff because sometimes the view this way really cool and probably much better than this. <laughs> and I am a little out of breath. I did not think. But walking on snow being as uh, exhausting as it is. Plus it's cold. You know, even though in Canadian terms, zero is nothing. We were at like minus 10 or 12 the other day. That's cold. I think my body is good to about minus eight, almost to minus 10. 
and then I'm okay past that. I start to not really like it. <laughs> it's uh, a little too crisp on the lungs. <laughs> and when you're a little bit heavier and you exert yourself easier and you breathe faster. Yeah, it sucks. So, uh, the cure for that obviously is to lose weight, which I'm working on. I have uh, plans for the new year. Well, right after Christmas is going back to being vegan. I'm gonna do that for the uh, rest of the winter. Uh, I was looking at getting an exercise bike, like something for the apartment, and my place is too small to accommodate anything. So instead, I've decided to start something that I've been meaning to start for years, and I'm going to start doing yoga. No idea how that's going to work out, but if anything, it's going to get my, uh, I got to stretch, right? So maybe that'll help give me some more energy and uh, I got to cut sugar completely from the diet as well. So, but my uh, morning oatmeal I'm okay with because the only sugar in that is my banana, nothing else. So <laughs> I'm okay with that. It's not very sweet, but yeah, I don't have any issues with sugars from natural sources, you know, like fruit and that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna go overboard with it, but you know, pastries and cookies and crackers and snacks like that, I'm done. I'm going to go back and, you know, make veggie snacks and veggie burgers and stuff that, uh, and, and use my air fryer more. Dehydrate some stuff, bring out the sweetness and some fruits by dehydrating it, you know. Work within my means and see if I can uh, drop 15, 20 pounds off myself. Try to get a little bit more exercise in. These walks are good. I wanna do these as long as I can. And they feel good. And every time I take one, I feel so good after. But it takes me a while to get my motivation and come back out again. Still fearful of uh, everything. And as I've mentioned, I mentioned it not in the vlog, but in uh, Deep Rock. But, uh, a lot of cold and flus and that stuff going around. Which is to be expected. Time of the year always does it. But with the uh, relaxation on restrictions and things, they're more prevalent. So people haven't had them for a couple of years. So we're more susceptible to them, it seems. So. But uh, I'm again still cautious around people. Because. Uh, I kind of have to be, so, Ooh, wow, okay, <laughs> I'm getting pooped, run out of things to talk about, and I kind of just want to uh, finish off this walk, put on some tunes, enjoy the nature, I tend to stare <laughs> at uh, the ground, so I can mull over my thoughts when I'm recording. So, I try not to stare at the camera. It always bugs me whenever I do it. Because <laughs> when I'm looking back at it, after the fact, I think that's why I keep my glasses on a lot too. So people really don't know where I'm looking. But, yeah. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable looking into the camera. Which is weird. I'm not all that self-conscious. I don't know what it is. I think part of it 
is because I get lost in it. And if I'm focused here, my focus isn't out here. When I'm looking down, it's easier to look up. But when I'm focusing on something so close, it becomes harder to uh, change my focus. I think that's the excuse I'll stick with on it. <laughs> Probably a bunch of bullshit. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy your holiday season. Or we celebrate. Or don't celebrate. Enjoy the, uh, the festive good cheer that seems to go around. Because I don't celebrate it myself. But I definitely appreciate the good vibes that go around. Seeing more people smile. <clears throat> Less uh, anger. And that's a good thing to me. But anyway, you guys take care, and I will see you all in our next one. It'll be next year? I don't know. We'll see. I don't recall. Is it next year when this goes out? The next one? Ah. I'll see you guys next weekend. <laughs> Later, everybody. Bye.